Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am your friend Ashfaq and in today's video I will show you how to upgrade the vCenter 6.7 to vCenter 8.0 keeping the IP address and host name to the same. Let's get started. I have logged into my vCenter 6.7. This is the version and the build number of my source appliance, and this is the host name of my source appliance. And the IP address of my source appliance is 192.168.0.148 This appliance is residing on on the host which is having ESXi 6.7 installed and the IP address of the host is 192.168.0.152 and this is the virtual machine name of our source appliance today we are going to upgrade this vcenter 6.7 to vcenter 8.0 and we will deploy our target appliance on this host which is also having the version 6.7 this is the version and the build number of the ESXi host and the IP address of the target host is 192.168.0.150 If I go to source host It is having one virtual machine here Which is our source appliance After the upgrade This virtual machine will get shut down And the target host will be having one virtual machine over here as of now it is not having any virtual machine here these are the details of the source virtual machine and this is the name which we will give to target appliance this would be virtual machine name for our target appliance which we are going to deploy on the host 150 during the upgrade process we will use this temporary IP address 192.168.0.189 we will assign a temporary IP address to the new appliance to facilitate the configuration and services data migration from old appliance to the newly deployed appliance after the migration the IP address and hostname of the old appliance are applied to the new upgraded appliance of version 8.0 at the end of the upgrade the temporary IP address is released and the old appliance is powered off if I go to the network settings of my local system you can see preferred DNS server I have given here is 192.168.0.128 which is actually the IP address of my domain controller I have given the IP address of my domain controller here so that I can resolve the host name of my uh, vCenter server from this system, from this machine because I am going to perform the complete upgrade process on this system This is the vCenter 8 ISO which I have already downloaded in my local system. You can refer to this video on how to download the 
vcenter8 iso from the vmware.com the link of this video i will provide you in the description i will right click on this downloaded iso and i will click on mount which will mount the iso in my local system and it will open it i will go to ui installer folder win32 folder and i will double click on the installer.exe okay so we are actually upgrading from 6.7 to vcenter 8 so i will click here on upgrade so it will first proceed with the stage 1 i will click here next i will select I accept and I will click on next I will provide here the IP address of the source appliance connect to source on this page we have to provide the details regarding our source appliance this is the SSO username administrator at the rate vSphere.local I will provide the password for the same I will provide here the root password of the source appliance I will provide here the IP address of the host on, on which my source appliance is residing. I will provide the username root. I will provide the password for the same. I will click on next. Yes. Okay, here we have to provide the details related to target. First, we have to provide the IP address of the target host. Which is 192.168.0.150 Username root I will provide the password for the root Next, yes, okay. Here we have to provide the virtual machine name for the target appliance. Note one thing here this is not the host name, host name would be the same. Here we are going giving the uh, virtual machine name for the target appliance. I will set the password root password for the target appliance I will confirm the password next my setup is tiny I will click on next so this is the target data store on which I am going to deploy my target appliance I will tick here enable thin disk mode and I will click on next so here we have to provide the temporary IP address details so I will provide here the temporary IP address which is 192.168.0.189 I will provide the subnet mask I will provide the default gateway I will provide the DNS server
and I will click here on next so this is the summary for the stage 1 if you are happy with all the settings click here on finish which will start the deployment of stage 1 and the stage 1 deployment will take some time to complete And here we have completed stage 1 deployment and this is the URL for the vCenter server management interface. I will click on continue. Okay, now we will proceed with the stage Two of the deployment stage one has been completed I will click on next these are the pre upgrade check result I will click close on this page I will select the first option and I will click on next I will untick the CIP and click on next so this is the summary for the stage 2 I will tick here I have backup the source vCenter server and I will click on finish ok it has started the stage 2 of the upgrade and this stage 2 is again going to take some time to complete
upgrade stage 2 completed here I will click on close I will go to browser and I will close the older tabs if I go to source host so you can see here our source appliance has been shut down and if I go to target host so this is the virtual machine of the target appliance and you can see here it is having the similar IP address as of source I will give here the IP address of the appliance username administrator at the rate we spread out local I will provide the password for the same so you can see here our V center has been upgraded to 8.0 and this is the version and the build number of our upgraded V center server and you can see here host name and the IP address are the same as of the source appliance By this way, you can upgrade your vCenter 6.7 to vCenter 8.0, keeping the hostname and the IP address to the same. Hope you find this video helpful. A lot of effort went behind this video. So do subscribe to my channel to encourage my work. Like the video. Share it with the friends and spread the knowledge. I look forward you to join me in the next video. Thank you.